I'll probably be dropping a Supreme video either later today or later this week, depending on when the stuff comes out for it. So if you guys are interested in that, make sure to go watch that. And if you could, hit that like and subscribe for me. What's going on YouTube? Taylor Prentice back here with another video. And in this video, we're going to be talking about the week eight drop list for Palace's Spring 2023 collection, which is set to drop this Friday, March 24th. So we've got a pretty small week here, and to be honest, I'm not really sure how I feel about it yet. But anyways, just getting into these pieces, the first item we have here is this reversible bomber jacket, which uh, I don't love this logo. If you guys know me and have watched my Palace videos recently, you know I really don't like that logo. But I think this piece was executed pretty well. I think the logo works really well with this sporty type of look, whereas on like the other pieces that it's on it's kind of just like a logo on a piece i feel like this piece was made for this logo if that makes sense it's obviously very reminiscent of the new york giants logo so i think it just works really well on this sporty type of jacket so as you guys can see here uh it is a half zip we've got the big kangaroo pocket we've got the nice like striping on the cuffs and on the neck so yeah i, I just think the details on this one were pretty nice and another additional detail to this jacket is the fact that it's reversible. So we got the quilted look that is uh, shown on the inside here. And then when you flip it on the outside, this is what it looks like. So yeah, I think both uh, sides of this jacket look pretty clean. This isn't a jacket I would see myself wearing, but I do think the execution was definitely there on this piece. And I do think I like the white one a little bit more than this uh, navy blue one but really that's obviously just preference both the jackets are still pretty clean and then the black one I thought was uh, kind of my least favorite it's like got the Raiders colorway going on here but I just thought the white one yeah it was really clean moving on we have the uh, bossy hoodie uh, so they call it the bossy hoodie because it has the embossed logo across the hood we also have shorts to go with this which we'll get to on the next uh, slide or whatever but yeah, we've got this in a bunch of different colorways. So we've got that pink, we've got what they're calling a green spritz, kind of like a mint green, a heather gray or marl, and then a black. So yeah, I thought these were pretty nice. I like that embossed look. Um, I do wish they maybe incorporated some other type of branding, like on the left chest, they did like an embossed P or something. Um, but yeah, overall, this piece is just all right to me. I think I like the shorts more. So I just really like sweat shorts in general. And I, like I said, I do like the embossed look. I just think this logo works a little bit better on shorts. I think the pink ones would be a little bit harder to wear. Um, I think these green ones would probably, you'd probably be able to get away with wearing those. What you'd probably be able to get away with wearing those with whatever. Wow, that was like a tongue twister. A whole lot of W's going on there. But yeah, the gray ones, probably my favorite uh, just because of ease to wear. And then the black ones are pretty cool too. I just think the uh, the embossed logo is going to be a little bit easier to see on the gray pair. Next we have the scratchy shirt. So this is a button up shirt. Uh, it's just got a bunch of like scratch offs on it, which is super cool. And uh, as you guys can see here, they've got different types of scratch offs throughout the shirt, which they have a t-shirt version of this where uh, each t-shirt actually has a different scratch off on it. So we'll get to that here in a second. So like right here, we have the 420 scratch off card with the hand. Then we've got the 250,000 one with the thumbs up. Then we've got the, uh, I can't even really tell how much money that is. It's like 163,000 or something. And it's a dude giving a little rock out symbol. So yeah, very creative shirt here. Um, I do think I like the pink one. There is a blue one. I'll show you guys that one here too. But really the only thing with the color that's changing is uh, just the lines that go in between the uh, scratch offs themselves. But yeah, I do think the pink one is a little bit cooler, just a little bit more vibrant, adds a little bit more than that blue does. But I thought this was a pretty cool shirt, pretty cool shirt. And I uh, really appreciate them doing these graphics because I thought these graphics looked really cool. So here we have the t-shirts. I do think this graphic is maybe one of my favorites. We've got it on a yellow blank. Then we've got another scratch off here on the dark green blank. Then again, we have another scratch off here on the brown. And then 
I think, yeah, that might be all of the scratch off images. But yeah, as you guys can see here, they're all on different colored blanks. So keep in mind when you do go to buy a different color, the imagery on the shirt will also be a little bit different. It's not like a standard image across every blank color. So yeah, I think uh, I really like the yellow one. I really like that uh, particular image. So I like it on this white t-shirt too. I think those would probably be my go-to or this black one. I felt like the imagery was pretty cool on it too. So yeah, overall, I really like the uh, scratchy pieces. I'm not sure if there's something that I would wear, but I do think they're pretty solid. So yeah, this week has like a lot of pieces that aren't like super, super cool, but a lot of pieces that I can appreciate and could definitely see myself wearing if I pick them up for like a good price or just really a lot of these pieces aren't particularly my style, I guess. Here we have the Triangulosaurus, and uh, I gotta be real honest, I don't really like this one. It's got like the Palace Triford kind of uh, worked into this dinosaur. Um, it's all right. It's like uh, it's like a fun, childish kind of thing, but yeah, I don't know. I just don't really like it. Next, we have the gigantic T-shirt. You guys already know how I feel about this logo. Kind of whatever. Um, it's a little bit better here, blown up on a T-shirt. I feel like a lot of stuff, it's just been like left chest. It's been really small. And it is coming in a bunch of colorways. This white one is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, overall, I just, I don't know. I uh, It's just kind of whatever. Um, I actually do really like that white one the more I look at it. I like the gray one too. But yeah, just that logo, not super cool. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I don't love it. Here we have what is one of the cooler pieces for the week. Uh, this is coming in a ton of colors. So this is a reactive triferg. As you guys can see here, it is reactive with heat. Uh, it's got the dude's like handprint on it. And uh, the triferg changes from green to orange when heat is applied. And yeah, I'm not going to sit here and tell you guys the conversion of colors for every single shirt i'm just gonna scroll through them so you guys could see so like this orange one here obviously goes to like a little bit lighter of a white um but yeah i thought these were really cool i grew up like really being fascinated by shirts that changed color from heat so i thought these were a nice addition and one of the coolest trifergs that we've seen drop in recent history they've done a lot of interesting stuff with the triferg because i mean like that's their brand, but I do think this was one of the cooler ones that we've seen drop and uh, definitely one that I would like to have in my wardrobe, even though I'm not real crazy about the Trifergs. Here we've got the uh, gigantic palace hat. So I think, uh, like I don't like this logo. I do think this style of hat is very fitting. If you wore this with that jacket, I think uh, that would be like a match made in heaven, the perfect duo, which I think is what they were going for. Like this white hat with that white jacket would be super sick, very, very clean, very retro style look, but I think uh, it would be very clean. So yeah, I don't hate these pieces. Uh, I just, the logo, like I said a million times at this point, this is not my favorite but yeah i think these pieces are still pretty clean and i respect the execution i don't think though without like some of the other pieces i would have warmed up to this style and the last piece we have here is a very interesting one uh it definitely doesn't fit with the rest of the collection there's no more tribal or no other tribal pieces dropping this week but this is the tribal trucker hat and i'm not uh sure how i feel about this i really like the text i love trucker hats um, I think this one works a little bit better. I think the uh, like detailing, whatever, the, the tribal uh, uh, design, I think it works better on this uh, brown and green hat than it does on that black and red one. Uh, the blue one is probably my least favorite, but yeah, this one, I think I'm just gonna, I think I'm just gonna have to sit on before I make a final decision how I really feel about it. But I do think this, uh, brown and green one is my favorite so yeah um this week was all right uh yeah i think just a lot of stuff that's not really my style i think the bossy hoodie and shorts are just like okay i like the scratchy uh t-shirt stuff um but yeah there's no pieces this week i feel like that would like really bring me to buy them other than that jacket at the beginning it's super sick, just not my style, but they did execute it very well. So 
yep that's it for me for this week i'll probably be dropping a supreme video either later today or later this week depending on when the stuff comes out for it so if you guys are interested in that make sure to go watch that and if you could hit that like and subscribe for me it would help me out a lot but anyways thank you guys so much for watching if you made it to this point we will see you next time have a good one